Hello, hello, and welcome back. Today we are here at the home of Wendy and her sons. We are going to show you how you can have fun in the kitchen and make fun meals where the kids are involved and everybody's having a good time. And today, what are we making, Wendy? We are making watermelon cakes with cashew frosting. Oh, yeah. yum, yum, yum. So, have um, do the kids enjoy making meals in here with you? Is oh. it fun? Kids are always helping me make uh, yummy desserts and yeah. um, different types of breakfast and lunch yeah. options. They have a lot of fun in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay, well let me do a test because I need to see if they qualify. Let me see if you have muscles. Let me see your muscles. Okay, he's ready. Oh my goodness. Let's see about you. Stand up here. Oh, let's see what you're working with. Oh my goodness. Okay, they qualify. Right. Perfect. Mason jar which you can buy at Ace Hardware and just fill it up with water. You can purchase this mesh screening, which is just window screening, and cut it out. And you'll just go ahead and put your elastic. A lot of times I use the elastics that I find on the broccoli stems, um, and I just save them up for, the, for this use. And we're just going to go ahead over, and you're going to take the water out and rinse it out. You want to rinse it a couple of times. So just one. Two. Okay, what happens by um, soaking the cashews is it makes it easier to digest. Again, two cups, and then the recipe calls for one cup of agave nectar. Okay, excellent job. You know what? So we're here we have one teaspoon of vanilla, one cup of agave. Agave nectar is made from a cactus plant. It's low glycemic, so it won't raise your blood sugar. So it's a wonderful substitute for any type of sugar products. And you want to make it into a creamy frosting base. Straight down the sides, just like this, and then we're going to continue to blend it oh, until it's turning. Okay, go ahead, Jake. It's your turn. Okay, we're just going to give it another minute. We really want it to be nice and creamy and smooth like frosting. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Can I have one of my assistants hold the bag open for me, please? Open, and we're just going to pour it in. I think that is fine. And what's neat about this watermelon is that it is from the Amish country. And what I would recommend typically when you're doing this is a seedless watermelon. But this was the only watermelon available today, so we purchased it. Um, go ahead, Josh, and cut all the way through. Excellent. Go ahead and push it. There you go, sweetheart. One second, honey. I would recommend making your watermelon slices a little bit thinner. Okay, hon. Go ahead and put it down. There we go. Let me just put it down. We're going to put that aside. Perfect. Okay. 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 And okay, and then we're going to go ahead and cut one more. Jake, would you like to cut this one? Okay. Can you push it? Okay. Go ahead and push this down. Push it down, honey. Thank you. Okay, let, go ahead and push it all the way down. Okay. Okay. There you go. Thank I'm you very much. I'm going to push it down. I'm going to push it down. Okay, go ahead and take that out. Okay, what we're going to do next. Now, now we can kind of just tuck away the sides. Okay, we've got one part of our cake. Okay, and this is the second part. Actually, these are nice. Oh, and Joshua just made a big point. Good point. We can use these pieces and eat them as scraps. Okay, so now we have our cake pieces. What we're going to do is we're going to use our cashew frosting. Josh, would you like to... To frost the cake, okay, and we're just going to 
One second left. Yeah, start here. There you go. Okay, and you're going to push down just like you're frosting a cake. Excellent. Okay, I think that is wonderful. The frosting on the cake. Okay, go ahead and get all around the sides. Oh, what a great job. Okay. Okay, well, just a little tip when you're doing this. You well, want to use the very top of it. There you go. Great job. Very nice. Okay, Josh, can you take the other piece and put this right on top? Put this, no, put this piece right on top of here, just like a cake. We're going to make a multi-layer cake. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Just on top, yeah, just like yeah. this. Okay. And then go ahead and frost the top of the cake. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna decorate it. We're gonna decorate. I'm gonna decorate it. it. Okay. Here we go. So we've got our cake, but and then the cake can use blueberries, we each get to strawberries, do it. We each any get, type of fruit to we each decorate get to do it the cake. Because there's a lot of it. Okay. That's right. We got a nice big cake.